Greg Dawson reports. Greg Dawson has more. Greg Dawson has been talking to some residents in Manchester. Greg Dawson reports. Greg Dawson has been finding out. Here's Greg Dawson. Emma Appleby has just tried and failed to import medicine she believes is crucial for her nine-year-old daughter, Tegan. So Emma and Tegan are in the hospital behind us. We're not allowed to go in and film, but basically they've got an appointment where they're hoping at the end they're going to get a piece of paper that's going to enable them to go to The Hague to collect some cannabis oil. Of course, they don't know if they're going to be able to take it home. I'm just trying to save my daughter's life. Emma and Tegan's trip to Rotterdam had been well publicised, and as soon as they step off the plane, the border force are waiting. Wendy Teasdale's 18-year-old daughter, Eleanor, took a line of ketamine powder after already drinking a couple of cans of beer. She fell asleep in her tent and never woke up. If they say to us outright, should I take this drug, our answer is always going to be, realistically, no. The safest thing for you to do is not take any drugs at all. We're here because we recognise that that's not realistic. So we have this sample came in earlier. Uh, this was one that we tested. It ended up being plaster of Paris. And the service user has received that result what back. What did they think it was? They believed it was MDMA or an ecstasy tablet. What is Johnsonomics? Johnsonomics, Johnsonomics, Johnson Economics. Did I get that wrong? Johnsonomics, okay. Early indications are that this is a Prime Minister Kipper. ready to spend. So you will never vote again? No. What's wrong with Nigel Farage? I don't know. I don't know. I just... Uh... Do you trust him? That's what I don't. Don't trust any MP no more. No, I don't trust any others. We've been here about three hours so far. And I guess the good news for politicians is that most people we've been speaking to seem to know that the elections are happening. The bad news is that no one is in any way enthusiastic about them. Teams are fire wardens patrolling the blocks 24-7. The first thing you do is shout, fire, fire, fire. Well, so you run around? Yes, uh -huh. you run around, knock as many doors as possible. I cannot believe we are at a point where there are men walking around the building that are going to alert us of a fire. It feels terrifying when I lie in bed at night and I can hear their footsteps walking past my door. This is one of many parts of the UK now considered to be a former Labour heartland. There are three constituencies in and around Stoke and on Thursday night all of them voted for a Conservative MP. The last time that happened was the early 1930s. The traditional Labour Party in the north of England and Stoke is working men's club is trade union, is community. It isn't rabid ideology. Lots of towns in the north of England are army towns. So Stoke's an infantry town. Being proud of the flag, being proud of the Union Jack, being proud of coming from England. Uh, and where does Jeremy Corbyn fit into this? Well, I think people believe him not to be. So we are just on our way to the headquarters of Steve Bannon's project to disrupt European politics and dislodge the global elite, as he calls it. Doesn't it seem that it lacks transparency? Uh, we don't care. It's six minutes past ten. Uh, we can bring you the latest now from Greg Dawson. This is the moment a concert arena filled with teenagers, children and parents transformed into a scene of confusion and panic. Thousands of people immediately scrambled for the exits. Hours later, Ariana Grande tweeted the words, broken from the bottom of my heart. I am so, so sorry. I don't have words. The singer wasn't hurt in the incident. When she walked off stage, she left behind a venue filled with joy. Just moments later, it became the scene of multiple deaths. Greg Dawson, BBC News. Well, let's now go live to, uh, to Whitehall, to Greg Dawson, our reporter, who is there. Greg, just tell us about what you're being told there now. Of course, a new day is dawning in, in, in London and, and people are going to start coming into the city to go to work, etc. What's the situation? 
That's exactly right. We're probably around an hour or so away from when those train stations that surround this part of Westminster start filling up. The tube will be opening soon. And from that point, police uh, at this stage are trying to provide a very visible, reassuring presence. There will be armed and unarmed police officers in those train stations. The latest headlines from BBC News. I'm Greg Dawson. Senior Republican and Democratic politicians have appealed for unity after the bitter U.S. election campaign. President Obama said he would meet Donald Trump at the White House later on Thursday and work as hard as he could to ensure a successful transition between his administration and Mr. Trump's.